What's up everybody? Welcome to the channel and the video review of the JJRC Tracker and the JXD Tracker or the JXD 518. Now both of these babies I've got the opportunity to open it up and test it out and they are identical quadcopters. So what I've decided was to do a double whammy review. Two drones that functions and are identical but branded differently into one review. So let's go ahead and open up the boxes and check these babies out. Okay, first up is the JJRC Tracker quadcopter and it comes in a nice package. Lots of foam to be had. There's the instruction manual and like I said, this one comes with two batteries and the batteries are 610 milliamp, 7.4 volt, 20C battery, very flat and elongated battery with a JST connector. So there's the top foam for you and check it out. There's the quadcopter and there's the remote control. So let's go ahead and take this baby out of the box and the remote control as well. And we also get this little piece of paper saying uh, AR Master Shooter. Oh, it is a game by JJRC. It is a augmented reality game. You can go ahead and download that game. It is called the AR Master Shooter game in the App Store or the Google Play Store. So check that out. You play a little game of shooting drones down with your phone. So that is pretty cool. There's another piece of foam cut out and there's more stuff on the bottom. And we get a multi charging cable, the balanced charging cable. You can charge up to three batteries with one plug three in one nice we also get a wi-fi phone clip and we get a bag of goodies let me go ahead and remove the box now in the bag of goodies we got a full set of props usb charge cable a screwdriver and a little bag containing a bunch of screws all right so that's what we get in the jjrc tracker here okay we got the jxd tracker now jxd 518 is what the name of the drone is but it says tracker on here and it says tracker right on the top of the quadcopter as well so oh, we got some instruction manual some qr code for the website and the instruction manual here one thing though the instruction manual of the jxd tracker is a lot smaller and uh, it's very tiny, so you need like a magnifying glass to read this thing, but it does go on to show you all of the functions and stuff So that's good. So when you take a look at that, it is identical It's got the top, top foam cut out just like the JJRC tracker and there you go Identical quadcopters guys just different brands. All right, so let's go ahead and put this baby down and there's the remote control Identical remote control as well and there you go, the innards. Uh, we just don't have that three in one charge cable, the balanced charge cable, but it also comes with a phone clip and a bag of goodies. Identical contents as the JJRC tracker as well. Oh, and by the way, the JXD tracker came with this battery here. It does not have any information on the battery, but it is identical to the size of the JJRC battery. So it is the same one. It is the 610 milliamp 7.4 volt 20C battery. So we are good to go with batteries here. And there you go, guys. Check it out. The JJRC tracker and the JXD tracker. Identical quadcopters. I've already tested them out. Function. Everything is identical. Yeah, photos and videos and everything is identical. And since they're identical, what I'm going to do is just go ahead and explain all of the stuff with the JJRC tracker. Yep, it's got this nice flexible type of uh, props, very uh, hubson like And the design itself is very hubson like as well. As you can see from the motor and the motor pod, there's some LED lights on the bottom as functioning as uh, landing gears as well. And there is the camera right up in the front. Uh, looks to be kind of facing down just a little bit. It's angling down just a little bit. And I think what it is, is uh, the props were probably getting into the view of the video. So they 
angled it down just a little bit. Hopefully it takes some good horizon uh, videos as well. Now, the quadcopter is coated with this nice little velvety finish, that anti-fingerprint type finish that you seen on some of the other quadcopters. So very nice. Uh, there's a battery bay in the back. You just open it up. It's got the JST connector and you can see some of the stuff right inside. You can see that there's a uh, like a uh, shielding on the top where the GPS unit is. So uh, we actually have a um, shielding to protect the GPS unit. So that's fantastic. So let's go ahead and clip that back in there. And on the bottom, there is a micro SD card slot in which I've already installed a little micro SD card. Oops, it just fell right out. Uh, an eight gigabyte micro SD card. And let me go ahead and push that baby in securely. So uh, what I found was this quadcopter is a standalone photo and video taker without the Wi-Fi phone app. And it takes great photos and videos. Yeah, very nice from the remote control. There's a photo and video button on the remote control. Takes very good photo and video. And while the Wi-Fi phone app is turned on and you take a photo and video with the Wi-Fi phone app, and if you have the micro SD card inserted as well, uh, it takes double photos and videos. It takes the photo into the Wi-Fi phone app as well as the micro SD card and the video goes into the micro SD card as well and you get a copy of it in the Wi-Fi phone app uh, not in the Wi-Fi phone app it goes directly into your camera roll so you don't have to mess with the phone app and look at the photos and video when you press the album in the Wi-Fi phone app it takes you directly into your phone's uh, camera roll so that is just fantastic all right so that is the quadcopter right here and as you can see it is the same exact quadcopter identical just the lettering on the quadcopter is different but the thing i found out is the remote controls this one here is the jxd tracker remote control this one here is the jjrc tracker remote control they do not work with each other they're on a different protocol can you believe that and the wi-fi phone app as well they don't work with each other's quadcopters. So, yeah, even though they look identical, they function identical, they do not work with each other's stuff. So they're not compatible. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this remote control here. The remote control is identical, just got a different uh, design in the middle there. So let's go ahead and take a look at the JJRC remote control. It's clearly marked, this is a speed control button here. And the speed control, I believe has three speeds. We'll check it out. And this button over here is the return to home button. So speed, return to home. And there's some trim buttons all over. And all of the buttons over here are for trimming purposes. There's some buttons on the side and the bottom. This one is clearly marked calibration. Uh, if you long press this baby here, uh, it takes you into the, um, calibration mode so then you will do that compass calibration you know rotate your quadcopter horizontally and vertically so that is the button to do that there's an emergency stop button and you have to long press it to uh, make it work as well now this button over here is a um, arming and disarming mo uh, button and it is a short press on it this button here has no function so it does not work uh, this is a photo button and this is the video button and these do work because you got the micro SD card inserted. All right, so let's go ahead and do a little flight test with these babies here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of rotate it since uh, it has GPS positioning as well. Uh, it does have the return to home and it does have a low voltage return to home where if the battery level goes down to about 20%, it will initiate its own return to home. But it does not specify whether or not we have a fail safe return to home where you go out of distance and you lose control and what it does. Does it have fail safe return to home? We will check that out. So we're going to check out 
the three return to home functions. The button return to home function, the fail safe return to home function, and the low voltage return to home functions. Now, the battery that we were given, like I said, was a 610 milliamp, 7.4 volt, 20C battery, supposed to give us a flight time of around 10 minutes. Now, the control distance on this baby is around 150 meters, both of them, and the height control distance is around 100 meters in height. And the app that you want to download for the JJRC tracker is called the JJRC tracker app in the app store. So you can go ahead and check that out. On the JXD, it is called just JXD. And when you open the app, it says JXD GPS. And to calibrate the gyros of the quadcopter, both sticks to the bottom and in will calibrate the gyros of the quadcopter in both of the units. All right, we are ready to go with one of them and I chose the JJRC tracker to start off the video. So let's go ahead and turn this baby on. But this baby does not have a on and off switch. So you can go ahead and already have your battery installed and just go ahead and plug this baby in. Or you can actually plug this baby in because it's got a pretty long wire. So you can go ahead and plug this baby in and install the battery as well and that's what i'm doing right now so let's go ahead and clip that baby on and we got powered on we got red led lights blinking in the front and green led lights in the back blinking and uh, we also have a camera red led light as well i'm not sure if there's a blue one within it looks like there's some kind of blue light as well within it so this one is the one that i have the memory card installed so let's go ahead and put this baby down and what you want to do is turn on the remote and there you go it has paired you see that there's a red solid light and the rear light is not on at all the rear light is the green GPS indicator light so what we are going to do right now is we're going to calibrate the compass of this quadcopter by down pressing this calibration so long press it and it sends out a beep and the red lights in the front is now blinking steadily so at which time you're going to rotate this quadcopter 360 degrees counterclockwise about three times and the remote control should send out a single beep there you go you heard that beep now what you want to do is nose up on the quadcopter and rotate it counterclockwise until the remote control sends out double beeps, which is about three and a half rotations or so. Once, twice, three, there you go. Did you hear that? Double beep on the remote control. So now our compass has been calibrated and check it out. We got solid green lights as well. Gonna go ahead and arm the motors by down pressing this button here. You know what I forgot to do is the gyro calibration. That's what we need to do here. Both sticks to the bottom and in. There you go. The red lights flash really quick and it became solid one more time. Now we are good to go. So let's go ahead and hit this button. Now we are able to take off. Okay, so let's go ahead and check this baby out. We are going to take off. Man, it's got some zoom as well. Check it out. And we got GPS hold baby. Very nice. It is holding very nicely. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Let's see. Let me do one of those. Grab it and pull it and get it angry. Yes, it's getting angry. Let's let go and see what it does. And it went back to that position. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And it is holding steady right at that same spot as well. And let's go ahead and hit this one key to land button and check out its one key to land function. Whoa, it comes down pretty fast. And hop, two hops, three hops. Uh, okay, about four hops. Uh, the final one a little smaller, but it came to a nice little landing and the motors have shut off. Nice! Okay, we are back on the table and now what I got is I got the phone app turned on and I got it connected. So we are using the JJRC tracker app and we got Wi-Fi FPV guys and the video quality looks good. But yep, there is a little freeze once in a while. And 
now it's doing pretty good. Nice little video, nice camera. Okay, so let's go ahead and check this baby out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the photo button on here. So let's check this baby out. Took a photo there. So let me go ahead and release the phone from the phone holder and point it that way. So we are now taking photos and videos. Uh, look, I have to tilt it up a little bit in order to get the horizon. So there is a camera down angle on the camera. Took another photo there. So now we are taking photos directly into the Wi-Fi phone app or our camera roll as well as the micro SD card. So double duty on this one when you're using the phone app. Okay. All right. So we have taken some photos there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the video record button. Okay, it sent out a ding and it is recording. Now on the phone app itself, we have the, the height, the distance and the amount of time that we've been flying and what speed I am in as well as the battery level indicator as well. And there is also a micro SD card that is lit up as well. So we are recording through the micro SD card as well and the photo or the video icon is blinking. So we are taking a video. So let's go ahead and check this baby out with the phone app and let's go ahead and take off, arming it, taking off, nice. And I see that the camera light on the bottom is blinking. So we are taking a video. All right. Okay, let's see if I can do some FPV. Going forward. Oh, low voltage alarm. We have hit the low voltage fail safe. And it has come back to this spot right here. And it's going to land. I wonder where it's going to land. Uh, I wasn't expecting it to uh, go into that so fast. Okay, I took off from this table, but it has landed over there. Okay, and the motors have stopped. So there you go, guys. There is the low voltage return to home that it initiated all by itself once it hit. And the Wi-Fi phone app is sending out a beep as well as it's giving me that low voltage alarm as well so that's fantastic i'm going to go ahead and turn off the video saved successfully and we should put in a new battery and check out some of its other functions now all right all right we are ready to go one more time but this time i got the jxd tracker turned on all powered up everything has been calibrated and we are good to go but what I've noticed when you are waiting for the GPS's to lock and the green light to turn on I was waiting on eight GPS locked and it wasn't turned green yet and as soon as it hit the ninth GPS lock-in then the light turned green so you need to wait until nine GPS on this uh, quadcopter apparently so let's go ahead and check this baby out I got everything calibrated even the gyros are calibrated so all I need to do is hit this button but what I'm going to do is hit the video button and we are taking a video let's go ahead and turn this baby on and take off all right and I do not have a micro SD card inserted on this one so now we are taking just videos with just the Wi-Fi phone app so hopefully we are taking videos 
and that's what it's looking like it is blinking and it is showing distance is uh, it's not a hundred meters so the numbers on this thing is a little bit off here yeah we are only at about 10 meters but it is showing me it is a hundred meters away oh wow <laughs> anyways let's go ahead and check this baby out send it out right around here now when you do the return to home you are able to control its movements with the pitch I'm pretty sure with the yaw as well so we're gonna check it out but it does not avoid obstacles guys okay so be careful with that so what we are going to test out now is the return to home button function oops let's go ahead and hit that there you go it is coming back and guess what this was the on position and the takeoff position but it has come to that spot there and it is hovering and it is descending for some reason it thinks that is the home spot so what I believe this quadcopter does is it records records its home position about 10 seconds after you have taken off and the spot where you were 10 seconds after you have taken off is the recorded home point okay so let's go ahead and test that out that's what it kind of says in the instruction manual and I didn't quite understand it but that is what it is doing so let's go ahead and place it right here all right so let's go ahead and arm it okay and I'm gonna take off and I'm gonna leave it right here for about 10 seconds so it should come back to this spot right here okay so it's doing th doing that rock and roll or the toilet bowl and it is trying to lock itself in and it's still rocking and rolling it is not at a complete stop am I taking a video yes I am and it is still rocking and rolling in the video as well all right so that's been more than 10 seconds let's go ahead and push it out okay now let's check this baby out return to home guys okay it's doing that rocking and rolling one more time return to home okay now it's right on top of the table and it's going to come down so let me move that table so that's what it does 10 seconds after you have taken off from any given spot that is the recorded home point so check that out very accurate not bad at all we're gonna do this one more time and I'm gonna take out my landing pad okay I got my landing pad out and it is sitting right in front of it so let's go ahead and arm the motors I'm still recording so let's raise it up okay it's doing that toilet bowl activity again but while it was lifting off it moved a little bit so it's a little bit to the right of the landing pad so it should land right over here okay it is still rocking and rolling and it's still doing that dizzying movements okay I think that should be pretty good more than 10 seconds now so let's go ahead and push it out it does not want to go very fast now okay let me speed number three okay let's push it out even further this time okay all right so it's away from you and now let's check out the return to home once again by pressing this button okay yeah it has missed the location Why a little bit which is not bad you know I mean, you can't expect it to land on the same exact spot so that's about good enough yeah where it took off from and what it was hovering and now the landing spot so very nice all right all right we got a third battery installed now and what we are going to do is we're going to check out the fail safe return to home by turning off the remote control while it's out there 
and see if it comes back and lands all right i got everything calibrated everything is good to go i got the video is recording as well so let's go ahead and check this baby out arming it raising it up and let's put it right above the landing pad there and this time around check it out it's not doing the fishbowl or the rock and roll Okay, so now we have hovered there for more than 10 seconds, so that should be our home point. So let's go ahead and take off. Speed number three, let's send it out right around there and let it hover. Yeah, and it is hovering pretty nice. No toilet bowl action this time around. All right, so here we go, turning off the remote control. Oh, look at that. It is rising up in altitude and it's going straight up. Oh my God, it's pretty high now. Nice. And it is slowly making its way back. Very precisely this time. And it is taking its time. And it is right above us. Yeah, it looks like it's going to land right around here. All right, so let's check it out. Okay, it is descending. The front red lights are blinking, the rear green lights are solid and looking like it's going to come down right here, just about. And it is slowing down, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six little hops and it has shut its motors off and that is not bad at all guys, fantastic, awesome. So there you go, that is the fail safe return to home of the JXD tracker same as the JJRC tracker all right all right just got done flying both of the JJRC tracker and the JXD tracker and both of these guys uh, work fantastic uh, the GPS position hold was awesome at one time it was doing a lot of fishbowl activity but uh, I think maybe the calibration was kind of iffy on that one on that takeoff but all in all 90% uh, of the time it did fantastic it was holding its GPS location and hold position very accurately so just got to remember guys uh, when you take off right at 10 seconds after you take off it records the home point so remember the home point is not where you took off from or where you uh, powered the baby on from it is 10 seconds afterwards okay so both of them did fantastic the return to home work very well fail safe return to home worked very well low voltage return to home worked very well so all in all a very very nice beginner gps quadcopter now the maximum distance on this baby uh laterally it's 150 meters which is not the greatest and the altitude maximum distance is 100 meters also not the greatest distance but for a toy style gps quadcopter it is just awesome fantastic for a beginner gps quadcopter we're flying with these 610 milliamp 7.4 volt 20c batteries i think it gives off about yeah about seven to nine minutes of flight time maybe eight to ten minutes of flight time so we will check out all the video quality with the micro sd card and the video quality of the wi-fi phone app which records directly into the camera roll of your your smartphone so that is just about it on the review of the jjrc tracker and the jxd tracker thank you so much for tuning in and watching have a great day and we'll see you again next time whoa look at all that birds man i think i'm almost collided with a bunch of birds and they came back to check it out once again <laughs> that is so cool where are the birds at all right they're gonna come back
All right, they check that out again. They go in front of the camera, birds. <laughs>